and 536 made 357 it's increased by another to 893 and within 7 to 14 days the work will be completed i put it there mother's work has started and and directions have been issued to execute agencies executing agencies to complete the work in 7 to 14 days then come to me the existing toilet facilities you have 462 249 for, for women. women and and 711 total and 1497 and 806 in public hospitals that's 2303 <laughs> the additional for women is mother 724 and mother uh, 503 for the others for the public hospitals and this also will be completed in 7 to 14 days mothers. then existing cctv cameras in addition additional will be 6178 and public hospitals 4071 also work will be over between 7 and 14 days following this is the special dealing with rj cameras there mothers currently common duty rooms are available for doctors the total are 57 24 and 47 additional, additional will be made mothers and sanctioned there are 71 additional and you work has started. work has started and mother joint inspection with hospital authorities pwd cisf has been held networks have been uh, new works have been taken up then mother's existing facility toilets 43 and 26 is 69 we're building another 82 joint inspection has been done mothers uh, uh, with hospital authorities, PWD and CISF has been held and new works have been taken up. Then existing CCTV cameras 217, we are, we are increasing them to 415. 36 are installed, the other work is going on. Mullahs. Then photos are at page 16 to 26, they are all, uh, all there. Then mullahs, additional security guards. In order to improve the safety and security of doctors, nurses and other staff, in all the medical colleges and hospitals, the government of West Bengal has introduced the program Ratere Sati Helper at Night. The concurrence of State Finance Department has been obtained for engagement of additional 1514 security personnel under this program for all medical colleges and hospitals. There are already 232 existing security guards and additional 85 security personnel have been designated afresh for Arjikar Medical Hospital, College and Hospital. Three companies of CISF are already deployed at Arjikar, a true copy of the order dated so-and-so issued by the department is attached. It is, however, most respectfully submitted that despite the order of this court, junior doctors, but anyway, Mother, I don't want to read this because unnecessarily, Mother, we have now reached some kind of settlement. Now, when you say that there are 232 existing security guards and yes. additional 85 security personnel have been designated afresh for Arjikar medical Yes, department. yes, yes. Are these from the, Rat the Ratirets? No, 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 no. These are police mothers, police personnel, not Rathi Re Sati mothers. And we will substitute the Rathi Re Sati with police personnel. It's only a temporary measure, only for one year, mothers. No, we can mother... substitute them with police personnel. You know, Mr. Sibal, what really happened was this. The accused who committed the crime was drawn from yes, the yeah. volunteer force. Correct, correct. Now, if you are going to have another set of contractual people, who will be now designated? No, now we are giving them ID cards. But security agencies have been. Imagine these contractual people will be trained. What? One second. These contractual people will be trained for seven days, and then they will be walking all around in the hospital. Now, what is the what is the protection which these young doctors have, particularly the women doctors, about these contractual staff walking around in the night in the hospital? Well, this is in addition to the security of the police that is already there, mother. But you know, the the crime was let's face it. The crime was conducted. The crime is allegedly alleged to have been carried out by these by volunteer that's who was right, present that's at right. the hospital. That's now, right. we are going to replace the volunteers with these. Mother, there are staff. there were there were there were hundreds of volunteers. Mother, it's, it's not that. We'll make sure now. We've got police personnel there. There are stations there. The appraisal. The the GR says the government resolution says. But that they will be appointed through an outsourcing these are not, agency. No, these are not civic volunteers. There is a security agency that we have hired. Through them, we have recruited. So the security agency will recruit these people? Yes, yes, yes. Does anybody carry out any... Yes, yes, yes. Uh, verification is done. Uh, proper verification. Any psychological is, assessment because these people are going to be working... Proper on verification is done. Health department is involved in this. Mother, something has to be left... Today, today, particularly the women doctors, have a feeling of, you know, insecurity. Now you get... Well, the CISF is there today, mothers. 
they don't know who these people are matlab cif they are your police they are not your paramilitary uh, cisf is there matlab for them to resume work normal or not what's the problem cisf is there matlab after all something has to be done by the state matlab to make sure that you know chips and cisf will be there for a short time because they responded to a we'll make arrangements after that matlab the police we are asking we'll make arrangements after that but it can't be matlab that the doctor that's all we ask the whole problem is when you entrust security to contractual staff particularly in hospitals where people are on duty for 36 hours they stay there there is virtually no protection for women there otherwise there is civic volunteer in this mother these are true security they are contractual staff we have a police house <laughs> mother kindly see they we have a police outpost in every hospital not with saying the police outpost well, even an fi was really, i give up, i am not disputing that mother i am not but seen of them why is it 1500 why why the government is again incorrect with this 14 hours Holy. again incorrect so if your losses won't will disband this there is no issue mother it's not a question of the court wanting it we are not in charge of governance in this but therefore mother so i'm so confident that they know they have genuine reservation because they say who are these contractual people but who are now going some, to work some some contract con- mother your wants to must have some confidence in the state machinery after all this has happened after all we are also cognizant of it we are also all against it we want the security of our women doctors of your losses must assume that mother state is not, not cognizant of all this now in terms of what you have disclosed to us yes. in uh, you said that there are 28 government medical colleges in the state of west bengal yes. right yes. uh there are 17 government hospitals including hospitals attached to medical colleges yes and number of government hospitals in the state of west bengal 87, 87. hospitals besides yes. the 28 medical colleges correct. and hospitals correct correct Now, so we are really dealing with these twenty-eight government medical colleges in the state of West Bengal. This is a key That's area. Page ten. Because man. government medical colleges involving involve young people who are there to pursue their medicine. Yes. These are the young girls who are straight out of twelfth standard Correct. who are going to be then joining for four and a half, five years. Correct. So therefore, dealing with young people in the age group of eighteen to twenty-three. they are particularly vulnerable and they have to be protected of course of course and we have to deal therefore with these 28 colleges correct because they have no great pleasure in abstaining from work that's right they are abstaining from work because now as we see having these contractual people there they will be having a new source of uh, a new source of uh, completely uh, insecure uh, premises well, that's right uh... who are these people who are going to be joining at a contractual level i think government has to talk to them and tell them that look this is the verification which we are doing or do you need now an, a new a new set of volunteers who will be called the rakhtar sathi we informed them yesterday evening in our conversation with them alert this was informed hello it's bota and, and this is what is recorded it also it's also recorded place the registration where it's also recorded there's a there's a lack of security for the doctors the way to do it is really to have regular police personnel at least in these 24 28 government medical colleges and hospitals that's that's, that's the part these are the these are the that's colleges where the youngest of our uh, doctors are 17 there is also calcutta 28 plus 17 could you get page 10 malat 10 28 in the state is 17 in calcutta in court so you have 45 I have mentioned that every hospital is the, the, the chief justice says, look, it, there was a police passport, and yet this happened. So therefore, what so we are dealing with twenty-eight plus seventeen, yes, forty-five. Yes, yes. Let's deal with these forty-five first on priority, right? Because as we said in the other hospitals, you will not have say eighteen, nineteen-year-old uh, young, uh, almost like children. They're beyond eighteen. That's the only thing. but these are very young doctors young interns right, young right, uh, right. they they are all young students right now you know they are straight out of their homes they are coming in from different parts of west bengal uh-huh. now we have to assuage their concerns and the concerns of their parents malaj kind of see malaj patient tell us for the 45 me. hospitals kindly tell us for the 45 hospitals what are you going to do to i need to have a look at page 10 item 8 There is an increase of women security officials on duty when women doctors, nursing staff are on night duty. Nine hundred and ten additional women security personnel will be deployed after training at the police training institutes, and they are undergoing training at the moment. Yeah. 
Now, we are good. Now, ground security personnel will be regular. Uh, yes, yes, yes. yes. Regular police force. Police regular police force. So, within what period will they? Uh, they are undergoing training because department. I don't know what the training period. But at the moment, they are undergoing training. I'll find out and let you. Because you know, ultimately, the the the, the devil lies in the fine print. It's not. They, they say that look, you have sanctioned funds. You say that well, duty rooms are being constructed. We'll get back to your uh, lordships on this. So tell us, and and second, who is going to the in every district in West Bengal, the collector and district magistrate one, and second, the superintendent of police, they must ensure and oversee that. Uh, these arrangements are in place. Absolutely. In terms of the CCTV cameras, the location for the CCTV cameras, and most importantly, there has to be some SOP. It can't be that the principal says, "Acha, yaha laga do, maha laga do." That's why, Malu, you must we, have. Oh, what, what, you must have a proper SOP on, on where you're going to Malu, put CCTV. Malu, what happened was when the CI said they must provide absolute cover to areas where, say, the female doctors rest at night. The bathrooms which they use, because these are the areas where Agreed. they are vulnerable. Malaj, we are at item. Malaj, when the when the cameras were installed in the Ajikar hospital, we asked the CISF to tell us where should they be installed, and we installed them accordingly. Similarly, we'll do it. We have an SOP in place, and we'll place it on record, Malaj, and we'll follow it to the T. Now, see Ajikar also, Mr. Sibal, the progress is very slow. Ajikar, you said you are going to in, you have sanctioned 415 additional CCTV cameras. Yes. But only 36 have been installed. But Malad, within 7 to 14 days, they, Malad, they took time to identify the place. So within 7 to 14 days, they'll be completed. Now, one second. Have uh, the uh, lawyers appearing for the resident doctors seen now what they have uh, uh, what they have assured the court that they are going to do? Ma within a period of 7 to 14 days, they have given us details of the CCTV cameras, duty restrooms, and public toilet. toilet facilities. Yes, yes. Now, apart from that, apart from that, see at Ajikor itself, areas where the women doctors are, are, are they, 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 they take rest at night or even during yes, the yes. day, early morning. Why can't you have? Why can't you think of having, say, biometric uh, facilities for access yes, we'll do to that, that particular yes, area? Yes, yes, yes. Is Absolutely. it not possible to have biometric access? We'll do that, that Malas. A woman who goes into, say, now she went to the seminar room. But the access to that, particularly which is a duty restroom, should be only controlled by a biometric facility. Actually, Malad, the health secretary is here. The health secretary is here. We will do it. We will put biometrics there. No issue. So these are, I mean, yes, you have to also think yes, out of the box. Yes, yes, yes. I agree. Malad, we, are, we, we want this to be in place so that such incidents don't happen again, Malad. That's our primary concern. It's an eye-opener for us also. Tell us, since the health secretary is here, what modalities will you follow? For reviewing each hospital as a standalone unit and ensuring that the requirement of installing CCTV cameras, restrooms, uh, access points, control of access is maintained. Well, what what is the we can't start well, let's correct. say all right in this hospital give her twenty more cameras. May I make a request, Malas? Tell us what, with us. One second. How you're going to put into place? May I make a request, Malas? We will give to your lordships on affidavit. Give us two weeks time to exactly how it is going to be two done. This is too long. DM and SPs are already doing it, Mother. Sir, sir, DM, sir, DM, SB, the hospital, along with the representative of the doctor, are visiting each of the places hospital. they are identifying, and only then the works are being taken up. From a security point of view, from a... All right, then what we will do is this. We will record that the district magistrates, the superintendent of police, yes. And the and and the representative of the senior and the, and the hospital doctor. administrator, yes. the doctors. The yes. moment is Will, participatory. The process. Yes, 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 absolutely. That so that you put in the place a participatory Malaz. process. Absolutely. The doctors are also then as well. To be concerned. Absolutely, Malaj, we agree. CCTV. We agree, Malaj. Well, then you that's the minutes also. Because that's, that's part Malaz. of the agreement. Ultimately, look. Ultimately, yeah, I also realize that you know we are dealing with. Young, uh, young people between the age of 18 and 23, we have to handle them in a different way. They are, this, sure, they, sure. They're all deeply concerned. It could have happened to any one of them. Why sure. only this exactly. uh, young woman? That's it could right. have happened to any one of them. I That's all that they are worried about. Yes, yes, and rightly so. All right. We have but made a coordinating office. A, this. An, affidavit, an affidavit has been filed by the state of West Bengal uh, for explaining uh, the steps. Dr. Zoshi will come back to you in a minute. Don't worry. An affidavit has been filed by the state of West Bengal 
uh, on behalf of the health department uh, on behalf of uh, on health behalf department. of the uh, state of west bengal by shri narayan swarup nigam principal secretary in the department of health and family welfare explaining the steps which have been taken uh, for specifically for upgrading uh, bracket 1 duty rooms stroke rest rooms semicolon bracket 2 toilet facilities semicolon and bracket 3 uh, cctv cameras availability of cctv cameras in the government in government medical colleges and hospitals across the state next the data which has been placed on the record indicates that there are 28 government medical colleges in the state of west bengal and 17 government hospitals Uh, 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 in, uh, uh, apart from which, there are seventeen government hospitals in Kolkata. Full stop. The number of government. Uh, the full stop. There are eighty-seven hospitals. Uh, besides, one and two have to be recorded separately, Malak. Yeah, one and two are sec. A twenty-eight plus seventeen. Twenty-eight plus nine. Nine, Malak. Twenty-eight plus nine. What's the number of government medical colleges in Kolkata? Is nine, Malak. Right. Then the state is. Let's try to delete that. Yeah. There are nine government medical colleges in Kolkata, yeah. and twenty-eight in the state of West Bengal, yeah. making a making a total of thirty-seven. 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 Government medical colleges. Full stop. Seventeen uh, uh, government hospitals uh, in Kolkata. Are attached to medical colleges. Yes. While eighty-seven hospitals, into brackets, besides the twenty-eight medical colleges and hospitals, uh, exist in the state of, in the state. Full stop. Uh, the state, the 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 affidavit filed by the state government indicates that. Uh, Apart from the existing facilities, comma, uh, sanction has been granted for installing additional duty rooms, stroke rest rooms, uh, setting up toilet facilities, and the installation of additional CCTV cameras. After consultation with the doctor. Stop. After consultation with the doctors. Stop. Uh, the uh, uh, besides making budgetary provisions, comma, it has been stated that work has commenced. And the direction and directions have been issued to the executive agencies to complete the work in seven to fourteen days. Full stop. Uh, the affidavit indicates that uh, that apart that that seven that apart from seven seven four seven existing CCTV cameras, comma, an additional six one seven eight CCTV cameras would be uh, installed. Full stop. In the public hospitals. Apart from the existing three three four six CCTV cameras medical and <laughs> medical colleges, an additional four zero seven one cameras would be yeah, installed. Full stop. Uh, in our view, comma, what is of critical importance at the present point of time, that is that is that the participatory process should be followed by the state government, so that the concerns of all the uh, doctors, both senior and junior doctors, are duly taken into account. Full stop. To facilitate this, comma, uh, we have uh, suggested to the to Mr. Kapil Sibal, we have suggested to the state of West Bengal that the collectors and district mag that 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 a team consisting of one, the collector and district magistrate uh, for each district, semicolon bracket two, the superintendent of police, three, the principal of each medical college, uh, hosp uh, and hospital, or as the case may be, the superintendent. Uh, and four, uh, represent a representative each of the senior and junior doctors may be associated with the process, so that the work which is being carried out uh, for uh, the construction of duty rooms, comma, uh, setting up of toilet facilities and installation of CCTV cameras takes place uh, to promote uh, with a, with their inputs in view. Full stop. This has been readily. This has been agreed to by the state of West Bengal. Full stop. 
uh, with the courts being assured that the entirety of the work shall be carried out uh, within a period of two weeks from the date of this order. Full stop. Apart from the above uh, steps, Amma, on the suggestion of the court, it has been accepted by the state of West Bengal that necessary steps would be taken to ensure uh, biometric facilities, particularly for controlling access to those areas, uh, to the duty and rest areas, both for male and female doctors, so as to ensure that unauthorized persons are not entitled to enter the hospitals. Full stop. The affidavit of the state government indicates that uh, 910 additional women security personnel are being presently trained at the are being trained at the police training institutes and would be deployed at the government hospitals. Well, it should be duty rooms, not duty areas. Duty right? rooms. Okay. Yeah. Uh, on 13 September 2024, the Department of Health and Family Welfare of the Government of West Bengal has issued a government order uh, proposing to engage uh, an additional 1514 uh, security personnel uh, on a contractual basis in the government uh, in the government medical colleges and hospitals under a program which is called dash helper at night. Uh, full stop. These personnel are proposed to be engaged by outsourcing to an agency nominated by the government for a period of one year. Full stop. During the course of the hearing, uh, serious reservations have been expressed by the senior, by the council appearing on behalf of the senior and the junior resident doctors, uh, bearing in mind the background that the alleged offense in the present case has been committed by is uh, civil been, volunteer by a civil by a civil volunteer civic. by a civic volunteer uh, from uh, who was also uh, contractually recruited full stop uh, apart from this above, apart from the above concern comma, the attention of the court has been drawn to an order dated 19 august 2024 issued by the state government indicating that bracket 1 women doctors shall not be employed uh, at night and semicolon bracket two, uh, women doctors shall not be employed uh, on any uh, shift exceeding 12 hours. Full stop. We find justification in the reservations which have been expressed, particularly on behalf of the senior and junior resident doc the senior and junior doctors, as well as for as well as by the uh, organizations, rival different organizations organizations representing the doctors. Why I'd be wrongly concerned. Full stop. Uh, the Basic purpose must be to ensure conditions of safety and security for all doctors, men and women. Full stop. The women doctors do not demand any special concession, but require the state to create conditions in which their safety at all times during the day and night is observed. Full stop. We are affirmatively of the view that we are in agreement with the submission of the uh, Council for the Doctors for imposing conditions such as that the women doctors will not be employed at night yes. uh, would pose a serious uh, impediment in the furtherance of their medical careers. Full stop. As we have already noted above, the women expect the women doctors expect to be provided for similar conditions of work and safety. I should extend across the board to male as well as female doctors. Full stop. Moreover, uh, it would be inappropriate uh, as the women doctors have uh, submitted before this court. If uh, women are given special concessions in regard to the hours of duty, full stop. The hours of duty should be reasonable for all doctors across the spectrum, and it would be inappropriate to target women by subjecting them to conditions which do not apply to their male counterparts. Full stop. We therefore uh, have been assured the the state of West Bengal has assured the court that any such conditions which uh, cast a cloud. On the basic constitutional premise of gender equality, shall be uh, shall not be enforced. Well, there's thereafter. only one request. This what is my said. Lord, my Lord, one thing. Hold on. Working hours of women, including women, should not preferably exceed twelve hours at a time. There is no mandate that they should not be employed. We'll reword it. We'll take. Uh, we'll take it out. That's not. Mother's. Mother, what is said is that preferably, should not preferably exceed, otherwise it will be misconstrued, Mother. We are going to delete it, but there is no mandate that they should not be employed, Mother. That's not what that says. 
therefore but all that they are saying is that look don't correct we will delete it malad but what happens is if this order goes malad what all kinds of put it in that perspective of yeah. you know they they are insisting on look yeah, yeah so, we are entitled correct but don't say it is a mandate that they shall not be employed malad this is not the mandate all right we will we will we'll just that we will edit the order yes yeah. now malad one last thing that i want to malad your lordship had asked us my lords on this on, point on malad that chalan Three five seven one one five three seven. Before we come to that, on the this part, just yeah. wait for a moment. Malad, your lordship asked us. We have to answer that, Malad. Yes. Now we have we, we filed, Malad, a status Take report. Huh? Yeah, well, on the strike of doctors, I wish, Malad. Uh, I'm sure that we'd be able to come to. We held a meeting with the doctors yesterday. Yes, yes. And Mr. But, uh, but they have not agreed. They said that there's a settlement. There's a settlement. But they have said we will come back to you whether you want to go back to work or not. Second, my lord, I'm here to address you on that question. If he has the patience to listen, my lord, <laughs> I'm sorry, my lord. I'm sorry. That's all. Right. A bit carried away. My apologies to Mr. Sibo. Uh, my lord, uh, I'm referring to the previous order of this court, para 16 and para 17. This court expressed expressed an expectation that the doctors will go back to work by fifth of September of this uh, of fifth of September twenty twenty four. Now, my lord, in the order recorded by this court, your lordships have already recorded that some of the preconditions for safety at work have not been provided till today. Nevertheless, my lord, in the spirit of Uh, what should I say? Honoring the order of this court, my lord, we did agree to a meeting. Forty of them met the chief minister yesterday. I would like this settlement to come on the record. It's in the nature of a settlement. You got it here. Yeah. Signed. No, it, uh, not my, to my knowledge, my lord. It's not there. But if it's there, it's the same one. Just check if it's the same one, my lord. A minute of the meeting, right? Same thing. It's the same thing. Very well. Now, my lord, I would like to read this out one by one. These, these... So we've already read it. All right. It's the same document. Very right? well, my lord. Signed by all the all the doctors. Who have... There are issues in this document that I'd like to bring on the record. I'd like to address because I would like to say, and I've filed this um, intervention. I'm sorry, I've not had time to file it in court. If you could just see the press, that's all. Just have a look at the press. Can we have a copy? Yes. I lost my copy. I don't. We'll. Did you make a mistake by reading? Copy to uh, the AOR for the state of West Bengal as well. <laughs> Uh, well, yes. Uh, have you seen the? Uh, He just didn't give it to it. Just now. The F F G. F is direct the formation of a monitoring committee consisting of personnel from administration, academics, junior doctors, nurses, and other healthcare staff right. in each hospital to monitor safety issues. This is a very valid uh, point. G yes. direct the formation of a confidential grievance redressal system in every hospital. Well, that's, that's already been in the minutes. Right, it's in the so minutes. One second, but we will, you know, we let's spread the path of these so that we can ensure that people are on board. H. The formation of internal complaint committees in accordance with the Sexual Harassment Act of 2013. Again, very important. I setting up of a counselling centre to be formed in every hospital and college with qualified professionals from the psychiatric and psychology departments, 
it will address the stress faced by students. Very valid. It's a genuine concern. I think this is something which every hospital should have. Then, uh, installation of CCTV cameras, which I think we have already covered in our order. No, I don't wish to say anything more about that. Also, we have covered. Let me, let me just make my point of view a little clear so that there is a confidence building between the doctors and the state. I'm here before you. That's my concern. I want this confidence to be built. I want the doctors to go back to work. I want to state it very clearly. So, my lord, your lordships have already issued the, issued the order relating to CCTV. We are satisfied with that. They've already informed us about the restrooms and the toilets. We are satisfied with that. We do understand it will take time to. Just one second. Yes, I mean, you order dictate the order. My lords, just a few things, my lords. Then what? Uh, yes, yes, my lord. Now, Mr. Sibyl, what we can, what we will do is that the these five, these four areas, two uh, CCTV and uh, restrooms, we have already covered. Yes. F to I. This is something which we will ask the government to consider. Well, it's and already there. Existing committees are already there. Well, just see if but what the it is not would not have happened. Yeah, yeah, we These put it. It's there. These conditions have been put in place. Let's be clear. Let them not be in denial. That's our only demand. We have no other demand, my lord. Don't be in denial. We are not denying it. We. Behalf of the on behalf of the uh, West Bengal Junior Doctors Front, come on. Uh, an application has been filed uh, speak, seeking specific directions. It's tough. Uh, two of the, uh, the two of the uh, principal reliefs, which is the affidavit uh, inter alia, uh, the affidavit contains the following prayers. We say, I said, I said, copy that law. Uh, prayer B, which has been set out above, uh, is specifically covered, is, a, is, a, is specifically the subject matter of the investigation which has been carried out by the CBI and hence uh, a, a full stop. Uh, as regards prayer C, comma, the court has been apprised of the fact that uh, a meeting took place on 16 September 2024 between the no, mother, live stream is not there mother they have, <laughs> in Zee, they have asked for live streaming mother. they're satisfied with the meeting we don't want live streaming just they're satisfied correct, correct. with what I, has I, taken I, place i agree I'm not just fair no i mean not this is not fair again he's trying to demonize the doctors no, no, no. nothing else as we went as we went without the okay. precondition of live streaming B, as regards prayer b uh, a meeting took place on 16 september 2024 between the uh, between the chief minister and uh, about 40 representatives of the West Bengal Junior Doctors Front. Full stop. A copy of the minutes of the meeting has been placed on the record. Uh, full stop. Ms. Jaising, however, uh, states that though the though prayer B contains a specific request for live streaming of the meeting, uh, that was not insisted upon. And a broad uh, and broad terms of uh, settlement. You say broad terms of settlement have yes. been arrived at. Yes, the broad, the broad yes. terms of settlement. Yes. They wanted 40, 40 of us went. There's D and E uh, relating to CCTV cameras and restrooms and toilets has already been dealt with in the earlier part of this order. <coughs> uh, we find merit in the uh, in the request which has been made by the Junior Doctors Front uh, in terms of uh, there's F to I and direct that the state government. Uh, should consider the uh, the request and take ameliorative steps. If not already done, if not already taken. What so, if not? Can you make a statement that you've got such committees in your hospitals? Can you make that Fair statement, Fair Mr. Sibyl? Put your hand on your yes, heart. Yes. Uh, these Don't we can. Denial. It's in the status okay. report. Uh, the the they're not there, my lord. I'm making a statement. They're not the there. Steps which need to be taken by the state government include uh, R four record one, the formation of a broad-based monitoring committee in each hospital uh, consisting of the uh, administration, academics, doctor, doctors, 
nurses and other healthcare staff to deal with safety issues. Bracket two, semicolon bracket two. The form formulation of a confidential grievance redressal system in every hospital uh, for the redressal of grievances of students, doctors, and other staff. Three, the formation of internal complaints committees in accordance with the sexual harassment of women at workplace into brackets prevention, prohibition, and redressal bracket act 2013 and bracket four, the setting up of counseling centers in every hospital with qualified professionals, particularly from the psychiatric and psychology departments to deal with the issues of stress which are faced by uh, doctors in the course of their duties. Would stop each of these aspects would merit serious consideration and would impress upon the state of West Bengal the need to take remedial action if that not done, Mother, because it's already done. done. Yes. Within a period of three days from Correct. the date of this order. Correct, Mother. Uh, now, Mother, I just want my to. My Lord, with no, regard to the last uh, issue, uh, may I now, Mother, finish with that? Yes. Yeah. My Lord, if I may, very no, briefly, very, out, very important, Mother. Now, we gave you adequate time. You can't keep on coming back. Mother, the notification has not been set aside. Mother, so, only one request. They recorded, they recorded their statement that they are not going to uh, insist upon that. I'm grateful, My Lord. That my Lord. Yes. Now, one Hello. last thing, Mother. Now that we have agreed to all this, the cease work must stop, Mother. They must go back to work. If the name of the notice. Now, Ms. Uh, Ms. Jessing, uh, yes. Mr. Jessing, Senior yes. Counsel, appearing on behalf of the Juniors Doctors Front, mm. uh, has uh, stated that with these, with the above confidence building measures, which are uh, to be followed by the state of West Bengal, comma, the junior doctors would have no difficulty in resuming work. To stop. It has been stated that the only concern of the junior doctors was that <laughs> necessary facilities for ensuring their safety at the workplace should be duly installed. <laughs> we accept the assurance which has been tendered by deeply the obliged. We are deeply obliged. And now, the last thing is that the Chalan Malad, we are lodging. Can we can we maintain that order? One person addressing the court at a time. Yes. Yes. Then. Now, Malad, your lordships have just dictated. If I heard correctly, that we have no difficulty resuming work. No, we have said that you said that in principle the doctors would like to come back, but they wanted confidence building measures. Yes. And that with these steps, which we have now virtually taken from your application and the other steps, that you are now willing to. Uh... Uh, there's just one caveat to that. Lord, one addition, if you can just record it. Lord, we are accountable to our general body. We plan to hold our general body today or tomorrow. So there may be a gap of time. I want that on record. I don't want to be told I'm in contempt of court. Ms. Jessing has informed the court that in view of uh, the in view of the minutes which were recorded before the Chief Minister, the meeting held on 16 September 2024, and the directions which have been issued uh, in this order, comma, the junior doctors would approach the general body so that a broad consensus evolves to facilitate the return of the doctors to work. Yes, one more thing, Lord, one more thing. Your Lordship will just come to prayer uh, B, uh, prayer B. Now, Lord, this is a very, very serious issue, and we know it requires to be addressed. Direct the state government to establish and fix administrative responsibility. But not just hear me out. We are not getting into the domain of the CBI. Well, Lord, we do not wish to get into the domain of the CBI. Huh? Well, Lord, it is not my case that I want to interfere with the domain of the CBI. The words have been chosen carefully. We have used the expression fix administrative responsibility. Jessing, one second. Uh, those responsible for the cover up of the incident. So the incident well, Lord, they're, they're, I made a statement earlier what that is it's still there. Well, Lord, hear me for a minute. What we, is are still, that? we are still being apprised by CBI yes, yes. of the nature of the cover-up which took place. No. One second, until CBI gives us a better, yes. uh, a better updated status report, then we will issue directions. Yeah. No, to I bow to that. I bow to that, my lord. I'm not. I'm not talking about the domain of the CBI. Just hear me for one. No, we are not saying. One second. Once CBI points out what has emerged during the course of the investigation, 
we will have some material to issue directions to the state government to take action and we must have some uh, some material agree before agree this is going to be a continuing mandamus i agree i know that your lordships are not ignoring this issue but give me one second my lord your lordship needs to be told that one of the reasons they've not gone back to work is because it is their belief rightly or wrongly that those responsible for this disaster are still there and these people on return will be victimized my lord we want uh, some kind of assurance from this court that they will not be victimized on returning to work because they are still there they are working in rg core hospital today today my lord they are working there and the chief minister has already made the statement publicly well, in the meeting That's yesterday it is recorded that is why i chose my words carefully not cbi administrative action uh, well, not for example the principal has been suspended under the civil service rules it is not possible to apply and one last thing i want to apprise you of you know there are statutes involved in the uh, functioning of these institutions one is the university act the other is the medical council uh, medical council act and the third is supposed to department of science all three take have to take responsibility for what's been going on in the hospitals three statutory bodies have to be held responsible my lord for what has gone on over here all the statutes have a provision in them for monitoring each one of them uh, monitoring the functioning of every hospital the state has a responsibility to monitor the university has a responsibility to monitor the medical council has a responsibility to monitor and my prayer a concerns those three statutory bodies i'm not interfering with the work of the cbi at all and they are still there they are still roaming around in the premises will not you give us any guarantee we are willing to take it and go back to work anything the court thinks is proper i'm not putting any preconditions will not protect us that's all there's a pure psychosis right now this is correct minister and we want to go back to work i want to make that clear if the chief minister has given insurance mother then what more do they want what's the nature of the assurance you tell us what is the nature of the this? nature of the assurance no action will be taken against them no punitive action will be what more can be said when join work join work mother making a separate point what punitive action will be taken against those who did this to us that's, that's a matter of, what will be do to them come on we are see the matter yes yes uh, once we have material that is exactly the area which the cbi is monitoring namely what was the other instances of corruption yes in these hospitals well it's not just, just a question of corruption just please understand what we are don't allow us to complete what we are saying one what is the nature of financial irregularities at ajikor itself two was there any acts of uh, commission and omission in the performance of duties by these by, by these doctors by the principal third was there any attempt to cover up what happened or to hush up the crime so a variety of issues is being explored and what is there a nexus between them and the west bengal medical council is there a nexus are, between them and the department is a nexus between them and the university one second we are seized of the matter we are not leaving our prayer be mr sibal will record mr sibal statement that the chief minister of west bengal has assured the doctors and which he reiterates before us that no punitive or adverse action shall be taken against the doctors right. who are returning back to work in pursuance of your statement before. very well lord but they must return to work malaj is not as let it be recorded malaj let it be but they must return to work responding confidence building uh, enable us to uh, persuade uh, them to go back to work the senior council uh, has earnestly uh, requested uh, the court to record an assurance that no punitive action that no punitive or adverse action shall be taken against the doctors who return to work uh particularly in regard particularly having uh, regard to the fact that the concerns of the doctors were over the lack of safety and security and as a matter of fact there is an ongoing investigation uh to determine as to whether there were any financial irregularities in regard to the uh, in in regard to the work at the public hospital so stop uh mr kapil sibal and senior counsel appearing on behalf of the state of west bengal states that in assurance was held out by the chief minister to the junior doctors uh robi front head uh, which is now reiterated before this court that uh, no adverse or punitive action shall be taken against the doctors 
who returned to work. For the cease work, Malad, obviously. For the period during, during which they were absent. But the caveat, Malad, it will enable them to say, we are failing you. You don't have enough marks. Your lordship will confine it only to adverse action. Now, we have said adverse action. Yes. Occasioned by the abstention from work. That's all. That's all. I think. Abstention no, from work, Malad, this is a regular Malod, if I may clarify what Ms. Jai Singh is saying. Malad, may I not Malod, say? if I may briefly clarify what Ms. Jai Singh is saying. We have also said that they are going to constitute a confidential grievance redressal mechanism. Well, we they must also, Malad, that that she said, she said that we'll have a general body not meeting. What did she say, You come back to us recorded. with even one such concrete case and we will take Malad, it. They have, they have, Malad, may I give? Malad, I think. So may I mention an IA? Malad, may I have a chance, Malad? Yes. Malad, they have said that there will be a general body meeting, Malad, and then they will join work, Malad. So as to when that will happen, Malad, we must know. Because I'm sorry, Malad, I can't give a date. Perfect. Your Lordships, may I mention? It means what? Our order. Yes. The last order, we are not modifying our last order. Okay, okay. Right? Yeah. We, we have given, we have, we have passed an order last time. Right. We are not modifying that order. Very well. We have created conditions for them to come back to work. Yes, yes. We have recorded their assurance yeah. that... Now that you have said that there will be no vindictive or adverse right. action, they will take an they will take a decision to come back to work. Yes. Let them now do whatever they have to do to implement that assurance and right. come back to work. Yes. So this should not, not be open ended. It should not be. Well, one second. Last thing. Your lordships, may I mention an I A? Somebody. Well, one second. Well, who are you? Who are you appearing? Well, for? The stakeholders are heard. Which side? One second. One, sir. Sir, one second. Sir. Sir, one second. One second. This is not a political forum, all right? All right? Please, two things. You are a member of the bar. Don't, uh, we don't require your affirmation to what we say. Please listen to us. You are a member of the bar. What you say has to abide by the rules of legal discipline. We are not here about what you feel about a particular political functionary or the other. That's not our concern. We are dealing with specific grievances of the doctors, and that will be. Oh, if you ask me to direct that the chief minister should resign, that's not part of our remit. Lord, the stakeholders are heard. This is not a public it's platform. Not, he is not concerned. Look, look. I'm sorry. You please listen to me. Listen to me. What happened? Otherwise, I'll have you removed from the court. One second. Listen to me first. Right, we'll take it up. I'll take only one yeah, minute. Okay. I'll take only one minute. Yeah. But there's only the form 5371 has not been used since 1997. This is a chalan. Hold on. Video that is really unfortunate. Allow me to say that yes, it was not shown to the High Court. That's a wrong statement. I put it all in the affidavit. The no, may read the affidavit. No, his, all right. They have. You have handed over a pen drive to the Solicitor General. No, that is different. Produced before the High Court. Yes. yes. Solicitor has that. Yes. Mr. Sibal says that the form was not used since 1997. Seven. Seven. If that is so, CBI will verify whether. Yes. Will verify, but if it we is use what is called a requisition, there. we use a requisition. Not by the Chief Justice. How can you say it? Malaz, let me just state. We use a. As a state, you cannot say that there is a statutory form which we. Do. No, no, no. We use a requisition. Part of the calculation consistent with the Government of India standard operating procedures. It's a yes, sir. Thank you. We don't buy the explanation. Once there is a statutory form, the statutory form. Mundas, all the information is already there in the requisition. Everything in the form is there in the requisition. Along with the form. The requisition is already there. But Mother, let them in. Let them not comment. That's fine. We do not know, Mother. Start with the regular board at 2 o'clock. Telangana, Telangana, domicile matters, item 37. We'll take it up. Don't worry. We'll go in rapid fire. Very well. Grateful, Mother. Grateful, Mother.